Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker: The Witcher Tales. Last time we uh, had a bit of trouble taking out the she troll over there, but she's uh, finally been taken down. So that means we can cross the bridge, cross the river over here, and see what we can find. But before that, we need to check out this burning village. Let's we'll check out the notice board. We get a puzzle and a few more question marks over here. And ooh, I missed that the last time. Seems like some sort of bandit camp. Uh, let's check this out. The burning fields and orchards spewed thick black smoke, turning day into darkest night. Captive of conscience. Riding in the middle of her caravan, Meave could see neither its head nor its rear. Reynard ordered the men to keep formation and march in silence. Eyes open, fore and aft. The foe might well use these conditions to spring a trap. When a scout's shrill horn cut through the silence, Meave immediately galloped to the front of the column. She found herself in a pile of red-hot coals that had once been peasants' huts. What the devil happened here? Bodies lay amid the ashes, barefoot men in nightshirts as if caught in their sleep. Meave deemed them yet more victims of the black-clad invaders, but Gascon had another interpretation. Look at the arrows. Imperial issue? Not hardly. Nor are they the type the Skoya tell favor. Uh oh. And the tracks in the mud, the attackers fought not in formation, but man to man. Bandits. It must have been. Reynard, standing next to him, nodded in agreement. Gascon can be relied on here. After all, he knows of what he speaks. An uncomfortable silence fell over the group. Ending only when Meave ordered the scouts to determine the direction of the bandits' tracks. Uh, I think we know where they, they those are to leading. Report the killers were hiding somewhere to the north. Yeah, so it's the bandit camp we saw on the map. That's a complete coincidence, but uh, I guess we'll be heading there next. Let's we'll see if we can can take out the the horrible men that took uh, took advantage of a situation like this. We do find a bit more resources along the bridge here, and then it's time to cross it. Still keeping an eye on any parts that would be hidden by shrubbery. I'm going no further, and I'd advise you to do the same. Bandits took the fort to the north. There we go, the fort to the north. Nearly with my dear wife. Go to Edurn, they said. You'll sell it a profit, they said. Yeah. Was nearly home. Okay. Nearly Go to Eden, they said. You will sell at a profit, they said. It will be fun, they said. Um so to the north. How the demons do I get out of here? How do I quit this place for good? Well I think you're almost there, buddy. Cursed land. Nothing but corpses and ash. Corpses and ash far as the eye can see. Just head out that, that gate over there and to the east. Smoke everywhere. Billows of it. Stings your eyes and scratches at your throat. I mean, seriously, you you should be fine. I think I think it's Fangerberg that's okay. over there. No, no. Okay, okay. Let's just get this convenient chapel and get our morale up to the maximum, which I think is gonna come in handy if we need to take out the bandit camp. But uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do right now, because this is it. I think. Yep. I'm gonna check out the surrounding area in a minute. I'm just gonna prioritize the bandit camp. Here we go. Knock, knock. The scouts reported the bandits who attacked the village that night now occupied a fort the Adernians had hastily abandoned during their retreat. They left crossbows, arbalists, ballistae. The bandits are armed to the teeth. What's more, according to the local folk, they had a witch among them. In light of these reports, Meave's advisors debated whether it was worth risking a fight with the brigands. Let's call it as it is, Gascon said. The game's not worth the candle. Game? Rayla said, struggling to swallow her anger. They slaughtered an entire village. We cannot let them get away. Well, I do always feel like Rayla is a bit commanding us around, ordering us around a bit, while she's under the rule of Damavend, of course, not us. And we still don't know where Damavan stands with us. But, uh, you know what? Let's just attack the fort. We're here for that. The stage seemed set for a long debate, when Meave pounded her fist on the table. I am a queen, for God's sakes. I shall not cower before common rogues, even if the entire conclave of mages stands with them. Reynard, have the men prepare their arms. Reynard saluted and left the tent. If one had seen him then, he would have sworn the grizzled soldier smiled to himself. 
beaming with pride in his ruler. I love Reynard. Here we go. So a mage is among them. That is interesting. Bandit stronghold, her countenance grim, Neve peered at the fort's walls. The seizure of this fortress was of no strategic importance. Indeed, some might even call it a wholly unnecessary risk, but not Neve. Rather than drive off the invaders, these brigands took advantage of the confusion to murder and steal from their compatriots. The queen refused to sit idly in the face of such depravity. Hint, killing is not the solution to everything. So we have special rules. Your Grace, I saw flashes of light inside the fort. Flashes of light inside the fort. Indeed, we got healing there. Infantry the surface. You can. So if this unit drops to four or less, move it back to your deck. Interesting. Um, I got a bunch of drummers, slingers, and Rayla with Xavier, so I kind of have the perfect hand right now. That Arbalest spawned automatically because it just does. And it damages a random enemy by two every time we use our loyal ability. So let's just put those drummers down. Um, a waste of time and fill the board minute. that way. Because I feel like we're gonna not have to necessarily kill anybody. Because look at this. These guys are not just bandits. These are deserters. Boost adjacent units to by three whenever the enemy leader is used. Repeat the deploy ability. Okay. So let's... But, yeah, I should have put the Grey Rider down I first. There we go. Let's use the Regiment Drummer and get the War Wagon down here. Tiny battles. Hungry like a and there fire. goes the Grey Rider and end the turn. Okay, so he's just going to keep putting those things down. Um, let's use another Drummer. Moving Left. that guy right. over there and Left. just continuing right. on. I think this might be a pretty short battle. I'm winning this on points already. While I would have, I would need a we very. We find a gap in the fortifications. Yes, indeed, we need to find a gap in the fortifications. But I'm not really sure how to set. I think we can move them with the slingers, which is fine, I guess. Uh, oh, that was a bit too soon. But yeah, never mind. Her Majesty knows what she's doing. And there goes the Grey Rider and Nickers. Then we can use the two drummers to get more stuff out of here. Another war wagon. You can try to win them all. Okay, won't. I think I should stop for a second with my regiment drummers. Because otherwise my side of the board is going to be filled. Uh, and I won't be able to do anything. So, foragers. One man's battlefield is another man's ripe patch I'm gonna just harvest. keep him there for the next turn, so when the Great Rider moves again, I can actually use him. I should... I could use the Neve's ability, but I think I'm gonna use her once at the end, so uh, let's hope I remind that. I think of that. Guy Vettles, hungry like a wolf I am. So, um, next up, should be the slingers so there we go slingers they hide well let's move um this guy first this guy and this guy so that's that then we can use the forager i think yeah we're gonna use the forager use the forager on these two guys damage some more those are all at 11 which is very good actually because i can reduce those to nine and then use me's ability so let's use the regiment drummer and move that back over here and then enter turn we might actually not need to because the deserters don't have any abilities take it anymore and since the the game actually told us killing is not the solution to everything. I feel like I need to keep these guys alive. I could... I think I'm gonna put down Raylan next so I can get another deserter to take care of those two light infantry units. Uh, wait, so we are at seven there, so I need to put her here. Yeah, here. Oh, so then, no other way. There we go. Don't want to kill too much of these to guys. Because even if I take those out, I'm actually risking... Yeah, we'll see. Come on. We'll see. So let's get a forager. 
put them in between these two. Oh, shame to let this booty go to waste. And then use the stray slinger to actually go over here and do this. So those are all at nine, and then if we use the forager over here, we get twice five. Okay, we killed one. Aha! A kind of incantation. Something's not right. They should be dead with those wounds. So that's what that healer does, the, the mage does. Every other unit if you... Yeah, okay, makes sense. So if you actually kill something, you get a full heal on the entire board. Fair enough, fair enough. So we might as well put Xavier down. My pain serves a purpose. And then give... Because I'm out of units pretty much, so if I just give a charge to Rayla... There we go. And then one charge to the Forager over here. Yeah. We should be fine on this turn. Although I need to be careful because of course Nickers can consume my Larian Merlot. Which he might actually do in a minute. There's a lot of 9s but 12... Yeah, 12 is without the armor. We'll see one more time. The Grey Rider is on the top row. I'm just going to consume those two units with the Forager. Then use Black Rayla to get... What do I get? Gascoin actually does a lot. Huh, interesting. Gascoin. Uh, Gascoin over here, so that guy moves again. And we get another boost. And then we can use the... I'm gonna use the Lyrian Merlot because I don't want to risk losing it to Nickers. And the Lyrian Merlot is just worth 41 points at the moment, so here we go. And end the turn. And then the next turn we'll use the commander's horn and Meave's ability. Oh, look! Pavlo Gale, the, the community manager for CD Project Red on the Gwent project. That is interesting. That is now just a bandit archer. Damage a random enemy by two. Repeat this ability when an enemy's loyal ability is triggered. I don't think we have, well, aside from the Arbalest here, we don't have any loyal abilities. So let's just... All the 12s... Well, it's not going to do much since we're going to get 3 boosted all the way. Yeah, I don't think it will matter much. And I don't have any loyal abilities, but ah, never mind, here we go. Smack, ah! and then those guys. Yeah, that's actually more than I had before. <laughs> never mind, here we go. And I think we just easily won that. Well, I guess it's going to take some more patching. The fort is ours, your grace. There we go. The fort is ours. Let's see who that mage actually was. Meave could have sworn she saw bandits stalking its ramparts. Bandits who moments before had taken a bolt to the head. By all rights, a mortal wound. What the devil is going on here? She swore as she took cover behind her shield. Well, they definitely have a healer. The secret was unraveled only after the battle's conclusion. Meave's soldiers dragged before her a grey-haired woman in coloured robes. The aura radiating from her left no doubt. They had fought a sorceress. Aha, uh -huh, I think it I know who this is. spells that enabled the bandits to hold off their attack for so long. What is your name, sorceress? There we go. Here's Ispel Ispel. So again, a card that was in Gwent, uh, of which I didn't know the characters, so... Uh, I take it you did not keep company with bandits willingly? Not at all. They kidnapped me and forced me to aid them. Forced? I do not understand. As a woman fluent in the arcana of magic, you could have freed yourself with little effort. True, I could have. But I would have had to kill. And I swore never to use my talents to harm another. Not even in self-defense? Not even then. Interesting. Then you live in truly unfortunate times. War rages all around. You cannot hide from it. So be it. Then I must entrust myself to the care of the gods. Or a passing queen. You stand before me, by divine right, ruler of Lyria and Rivia. We seek the lord of these lands, Demavend. Oh, forgive me for not recognizing you, your grace. 
You do not look like a ruler. More like a mercenary. Um, she kind of has a point. By the way, another interesting thing about this character. In the in Gwent, she's called Isbel of Hag. Not, or Hage. Not uh, Tretogor. So that's weird. So nor do you look like a sorceress. Which, of course, we have a point. Because sorceresses usually use their magic to make them look young and beautiful. Not saying that this woman isn't beautiful. She kind of has something going on for her. But uh, she doesn't look like a typical witchy sorceress. Nor do you look like a sorceress. True, my lady. Forgive me. I meant no offense. I accept your apology. And would gladly welcome you into our ranks. Truth be told, a skilled worker of magic would prove most useful to us. Thank you, my lady. But you must know, an army is no place for me. Should you wish it not, you needn't fight. We have many civilians among our ranks who... Who do their part in the slaughter. Indirect guilt is enough. My soldiers do not slaughter, they fight. Lofty words, but the result is the same. Indeed Files it is. of corpses. She, again, has a point. Well, a bandit I am not. I shall not force you. Reynard, prepare the men to march on. Of course, but if I may, perhaps Xavier might have a look at the war machines we captured. He may find some parts of use. Me followed Reynard's suggestion. Xavier went to work. Oh, wait, if she sees Xavier's face... Yes, Your Grace. She's gonna, well, maybe not freak out. She's gonna want to help. God, what happened to him? He was in Rosberg when the stronghold fell. Nearly burned alive. How, how are you healing him? Well, not, not particularly well, obviously, seeing the result. The medics recommended regular poultices of dog's tallow. But whether they've any effect... Of course they've no effect. For such wounds. How he must suffer. In the day, he reveals nothing. But at night, one awakes to hear him sob with pain. You see? I need healers. And then we have silence. That was... I shall go with you. But never shall I use magic to take a life. Do I make myself clear? You do. Um, I feel like Rainer did that on purpose. I think Rainer did that on purpose. He just called Xavier here to make a point. That was... Harsh. Uh, I consent to your conditions, of course. Yes, you have put it quite plain, and rather bluntly. Forgive me, Your Grace. It has been long since I played the host. I forget the custom. Your spells mean more to me than your manners. Welcome to our ranks, Isbel. Isbel sat in one of their wagons and shut her tired eyes. Her long grey hair seemed to flutter ever so slightly, though there was neither wind nor breeze. <laughs> ah, sorceresses. Do no harm. Oh, number one, do no harm. So the rules, there we go. Isbel Healer. That is interesting. Isbel Healer. Does that mean she can change her mind about some things? Because, of course, most sorceresses are really, really old and they use magic to conceal their age and complexion but she doesn't let's take a look at what she does because i feel like she might be a good replacement for the morana runestone holy crap 22 i 22 order boost allies at random by the total damage taken during this battle boost allies at random by the total damage taken during this battle uh uh, hell yes, I'm gonna have to make some adjustments because I'm 21 points over my current total, but we have way too many cards anyway. Um, I'm actually gonna remove the Romana... Morana... Romana... Morana runestone with something else then. I feel... because uh, I had something pretty interesting if the UI will work with me. So I'm gonna swap out the Morana runestone with the fake Florin so we can use that dueling thing once. And then I'm going to have to make some space. So let's get rid of the Geso Arbalest and yeah, the Wagenberg as well. Yeah, let's get rid of the Wagenberg for now until we have uh, some upgrades. And Isbel is... yeah, there we go. I still think it's weird that she's called Isbel Healer. 
there might be differences then. Maybe depending on an artifact like with uh, egg. Although egg shows it when you have different things. So we have divine inspiration with only the manticore trophy. And fury when only battling monsters. And holy warrior when battling monsters and having the manticore trophy. So, hmm, interesting. But we have a bit of a change of the deck with that now. We have a, a fancy healer, but we need to take damage for that to take effect. So if you don't face a damage healing deck, we won't be able to do much. Now, let's check out the workshop first. So yeah, again, I still, I'm still waiting for wood, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, there's a letter here as well. King Damavan's orders to all garrisons in Lower Edirne. Your orders are as follows. Abandon border forts at once and make haste to Aldersburg. So Aldersburg is probably the city we see in the in the distance massive reinforcements necessary that the enemy prepares to launch a siege and now we have the mess tent so we can have a little chat with oh she's there in the background isbel mom it's good you're here we ought to speak yes concerning what i've spent time with your troops dressing their wounds treating them they respect you greatly would follow you into any fire any flood happy to hear it they're good folk, one and all. Yes, precisely. In fact, too good to die in a senseless war. Not certain I understand. The Imperial Army's enormous. Just how enormous we know, both. Had you all the Norse kings at your side, victory would still be unsure. Yet you fight alone. No well you cannot rely on them. So please don't lecture me or you underestimate me grossly. Uh, I feel like her advice is welcome, because she has a point. We know the Nilf Guardian armies are huge, so we probably don't stand a chance. And even if you're looking at what happens eventually in the books, aside from the games, uh, actually, she, she's, she's just right. But that's not where we're at at this moment in time. Agreed. Nilfgaard's far better equipped and greatly outnumbers us. Yet, though try, they cannot be everywhere at once. They've stretched their forces thin, too thin. An error I aim to exploit. You may be right. I hope you are. The lives of those you lead depend on it. Indeed it does. Mm. You're proud, persistent, and sure of yourself. Just as I was at your age. It may work in your favor. Only time can tell. Meanwhile, how might I help? Uh, you're not a typical sorceress, indeed. You're no village witch, no healer. That much is clear. But nor do you look like our northern sorceresses. Hmm, I use no glamour, true. I've come to feel a body must age, and honestly so, as nature intended, as is the order of things. Although you still look pretty... Attractive, even for your age, if I might say so. You sound much like a druid driveling on about balance, harmony, the good that is rot. Rather poor, their reputation, druids. Yet they're in the right in this regard, I believe. Defy nature's laws and nothing good can come of it. Is that also why you wear no shoes? Ha! <laughs> no. I simply like to feel the grass between my toes, the sand or the mud. You must try it sometime. Uh, I don't think Meeve is the bare naked foot kind of woman. Hmm. I shall think on it. Okay, I'll take that back. Thank you, Isabel. And that's all we can talk about with her. Duty calls. I must go. So we have a lot of... Should you need me, I'll be here. We have a lot of conflicting viewpoints now. So we have Reynard and Gascoigne, which are pretty much at the opposite ends of the spectrum. And I feel like we now have Isbel and Rayla, which are quite literally on the opposite side of each other. Because Isbel doesn't want to harm anybody, and Rayla just wants to kill everybody who's in our way. So, yeah, we're going to have to be careful with those guys, those lovely women. women. I'm actually rereading re the books as we speak and uh, actually just passed the first mention of Black Rayla um, near the, the the Isle of Tanet when uh, Yennefer and Ciri are actually waiting to get to the, the academy. Um, I feel like there's something over here. 
No, but she at that point she is still a normal like she isn't here actually a, a normal commander captain captain black Rayla for uh, them events so I know she's mentioned a few times in the books but I'm not 100% sure that I'm actually correct on the fact that she's also called pretty kitty or that's another uh, a different character altogether but moving Ruin on still smolder Nilfgaard parks not long afore they must be close no doubt they already knock at Aldersburg's gate. We must make haste. But that's... those looks like... Fled so fast, didn't manage to pack. Who are these Beautiful guys? Sword. <laughs> Not a scratch on it. Our army showed well in the parade. But when it came down to it... Yeah. Mercenaries. It's no real use to me. Take it if you'd like. Left in the fields, it'll go to waste. Okay, we got a bit of wood. Fair enough, thank you for that. They look like bandits, but apparently they are not. I'm actually going to check the map. Because I don't want to miss... Okay, so we have a puzzle battle next, and that's probably going to be the last thing for this episode. Now we're going to have to be careful, because I don't think I've been in here just yet. Or maybe... No, wait, we've been here, but that was where the unicorn was, if I'm not mistaken. So we have still quite a bit to do. So I'm guessing not even in the next episode we'll reach Aldersburg. But we're getting close to it. Getting close to it. So puzzle battle with these Nilf Guardians. Here we go. Trial by fire. Nilf Guardian military superiority was so immense that even Imperial reconnaissance units posed a serious threat to Mie's modest army. Rather than retreat and wait reinforcements, the Nilf Guardians decided to take the offensive. Eliminate the spotters before they escape. Okay. Four spotters. And we have... If a unit appears on this row, this unit becomes alerted. If alerted, move one row away from the opponent every turn. And turn start if no rows are left to move, escape and raise the alarm. Interesting. So we will move up. And we have a Wagenberg. So only if a unit appears on this row. If this unit becomes alerted. So if we put the pitfall trap down on the back row. That does not count as a unit, right? No. So every time a unit moves to that row, they're going to get damaged by two. Then I feel like we should get the Wagenberg down over here. And the turn, so they move up. Then we have... I don't think it really matters, right? Abolista, your command. Because those guys are going to move... Or maybe I should kill that one, probably. So that's one. So those are over there now. Then we have... I'm a monster. That one. And the turn. And then we can... Yeah, we can just use the Wagenberg. Kill those. And then use... This guy. To just destroy. And destroy. There we go. Do I need to damage anything else? I can't cancel that. Okay. There we go. That was pretty straight forward actually i think there were a few ways you could do that but i pretty much saw the pattern immediately because the pitfall trap was so handy from andrew yolkar bookkeeper to colonel colonel lucan zorna as instructed the regimental treasury was transferred to the village of yedlin south of the camp in order to minimize the chance of enemy interception the chests have been concealed under the bridge i've also begun the withdrawal of supplies towards aldersburg may the gods watch over us both Okay, I don't know if I have a chest left that I missed somewhere. Not really sure. We're at 2,500 wood, which is pretty much the amount I wanted to. But still, I'm going to wait a bit because I don't want to risk needing a bit of wood and not being able to use that. So with that done, I'm going to actually take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we'll continue our path towards Aldersburg. So thanks again enormously for watching and hope to see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.